Hello, guys. It's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. You could be driving. Honda has won more U.S. News and World Report awards than any other brand in the last decade. And now you can add another one to the list, being named the best car brand of 2022. Come get your Honda today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Siga Lane. Start today's edition of the Clarence Bud Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your world since the last opportunity we had to speak with you eh, some 24 hours ago. We start today's show with the old moniker, when you can't do the little things right. This morning, I'm on the way in getting ready to do the show. And as the majority of Baton Rougeans do, I'm on the interstate trying to get here. And I notice a car in the center lane of three lanes of 110 heading to I-10. And looking down the road, I see a white car with something written in huge letters on the back windshield and the trunk of the car. The letters are so large you can see it from a long distance away. So I'm watching as I'm driving and I notice cars behind this car with the big white letters all at the last second, swinging around the car, jumping back in the center lane, going on about their business. Soon as one would do that, another one would drive right up on the bumper of the car then swing around and change lanes again. So eventually I get close enough to realize that this is a driving academy car, caution, student driver. <laughs> Sitting there watching this, I'm saying to myself, didn't y'all have to pass a test to get a license? But what disturbed me more than anything was the lesson that's being taught to this young person behind the wheel. Now, you can make the argument. It's a student driver. They don't have the knowledge yet, certainly don't have the experience yet. So on a high-speed roadway, like an interstate, that car should have been in the slow lane. Louisiana law clearly states you must be in the furthest lane to the right unless you are turning or passing. So you could make the argument that car should have been in the center lane. And of course, student driver, you're going to observe the speed limit. <laughs> now, I think we all know 
in Baton Rouge and most other places in Louisiana, if you drive the speed limit, you are literally taking your life in your own hands. God bless you if you drive the speed limit and can get where you're going safely. But the number of people that in our state drive and apparently don't look any further than the hood ornament of their car is frightening. So much so, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Just this week, the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office decided that they would have a little fun with reminding us about the rules of the road. So they shared these rules of the road that everyone should follow while they're behind the wheel of a car. Quote, we just want to remind some of you that playing bumper cars is not recommended for real cars and should not occur on the roadway. If you're driving right now, you shouldn't be reading this. You've already, insert the word here. It goes on to say, the blinker slash signal light is something that can be found on the steering column and it deserves more attention than what it's currently receiving. Number three, look before merging. Number four, traffic lights have three colors and they all mean something different. Number five, stop looking at your phone or your gorgeous face in the mirror. We often get swamped with accidents along with other calls in between. Furthermore, we don't want to see anyone get hurt. Please pay attention, folks, and make good choices. It closes with the following. So if you had the inclination to play bumper cars, maybe head to Bayou Bowl in Monroe, Cart Ranch in Lafayette, bumper cars in City Park, or Celebration Station <laughs> in Baton Rouge. You know, we've known for quite some time, y'all, that we have more than our fair share of challenges in Louisiana. But this is not supposed to be one of them, y'all. For something that you are required to take a test for, something you have to demonstrate in no uncertain terms that you understand the rules and you're willing to abide by them. What's troubling is with all the problems we have in the state of Louisiana, if we can't do something as simple as observe the rules of the road, what does that bode for the real challenges that we face? It was ironic this morning and it hearkened me back to many, many years ago. As I passed this car, that everybody waits until they get this far behind the bumper before they swing around. As I'm passing the car, I turn and look at the driver <laughs> and there's a teenager behind the wheel, the adult instructor in the passenger seat and both of them are like this. <laughs> I'm saying, oh my God, this is our future. <laughs> If you can't do the little things right, what chance in you know what do we have of overcoming 
major hurdles. If, if I could put scripture to it, the one that immediately comes to mind is you've been faithful over a few things. Come on up on high and I'll make you ruler over many. <laughs> We're in trouble, y'all. <laughs> we are in trouble. And unfortunately, watching my fellow Baton Rouge drivers on the way in this morning, once again, it became abundantly clear that God in his infinite wisdom knew what he was doing with the family structure. Young ladies are supposed to learn what it means to be a good wife, a good mother, a good caregiver by watching their mothers. Young men are supposed to learn what it means to be a good man, a good father, a good husband by watching their father. Now, that street runs both ways. You will probably learn to be a horrific driver if growing up, your mom, your dad was a horrific driver. It's what you see. And you know we're creatures of habit. The things we buy, the things we support, the things we do are the things that we see all the time. The things that we do all the time. So when you watch your dad weaving through traffic, never once using a signal light, disobeying the speed limit, tailgating, you are raising another miscreant on the roadways. The old adage, lead by example. And if I could tag on another with that, a little courtesy goes a real long way. But this morning, once again, proved to me we got a long way to go, y'all, on just the simplest of things. It's a sad commentary that on any given day, in Baton Rouge and most other major cities in our state, when you do something as simple as reach for your car keys, it's a crapshoot. Just going to pick up Johnny, little Johnny from soccer practice, crapshoot. Just grabbing your keys, honey, I'm going to the store, we're out of bread. We can't have sandwiches without bread. It's a crapshoot. All because we refuse, for whatever reason, to do the little things right. Suffice it to say, conventional wisdom says, you can forget about doing the big things right until you learn how to do the little ones right. Just an observation. Now turn that freaking signal light on the next time you change lanes. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? That's what I thought. First break of today's show. Speaking of driving, spending a whole lot more to do it these days, aren't you? So looking at inflation, what's all this costing you? We got the answer when we come back. Continuing today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Good morning. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. 
Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. You're dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The Mazda CX-30, named an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Perfect for the journey ahead. Start your journey in a new Mazda CX-30, right here at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bud Show. You know, one of the wonderful things about the uh, information age is that for many things that affect us daily, you can get a near instant reaction or analysis to how it affects you personally. If you have been anywhere in recent memory, grocery store, department store, gas station, what have you. You know everything is costing you more. And of course, those individuals hurt the most by the ravages of inflation are just about always those who can least afford it. So I know you've probably been wondering, good God, man, I spent this much more on gas this week. I spent this much more on groceries this week. How much is all of this costing me? Well, Moody's Analytics, one of the arguably most respected analytical firms in the country, sat down this week to do just that, figure out how much more is inflation costing the average American household. Now, obviously, these numbers are based on the household, so if you are single-person household or two-person household, the numbers would not be as high because you don't consume or purchase as much. But Moody's Analytics says the average U.S. household is now spending an additional 
$296 a month. As you might imagine, the number has gone up. Back in February, it was only $250 a month. No big shock because inflation continues to go up. Everything you buy continues to cost more. And, of course, that means you take home less money and have less to spend. First time since we've been keeping records, inflation registers double digits. Now, if you're one of those that says, yeah, but Clarence, you got to understand you can you can make a poll or, or analysis, say pretty much anything you want to say. So I don't, I don't know. I understand they're Moody's and they've been around forever, but I don't know if I'm going to take just Moody's analytics word for it, nor should you. Meanwhile, an analysis from the University of Penn, the Wharton School of Business, says Americans are now spending an additional $3,500 a year, which pretty much registers around $300 a month. So, <laughs> and you can't make this stuff up, y'all. You cannot make this stuff up. What is the government's response to this? Well, I could probably categorize it in one word. So, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, it's costing you an extra 300 a month, 3,500 a year. So, gas prices, highest they've ever been in history. So, buy an electric car. But an electric car, the average price is $60,999. So you'll save money in the long run. But then they go so far as to recommend this. Never let it be said that your government is not responsive to the needs of the people. They suggest, and I quote, you can save on energy by unplugging appliances when they're not in use. Never would have thought of that. Or use power strips with switches that allows you to completely turn the product off that's plugged into it. You could do, by doing this, you could save 5 to 10% of your residential energy use. Turning down the heat can also save money. Who would have thought? Oh, my God, all this time, I never knew. If I turn the heat down, I won't be using as much electricity, and my bill won't be so high. Wow. Thanks, Uncle Sam. <laughs> of course, now, Kamala Harris did tell us last week, well, we're only doing what the American people told us they wanted. Now, maybe, just maybe, because I will be the first to admit I am in no way, shape, or form privy to all the conversations that government, particularly the federal, has had with ordinary Americans. I will be the first to admit that. But I'm going to tell y'all, I got a hard time believing there is a single American out there, real American, let me add that, because there are some whack jobs out there. But I have yet to, re, to, to, to meet a real American that says, when I went to the polls last year, I did so with the expressed intent of having two million people 
walk across the border, set up shop, get government benefits, and be here illegally. I have yet to meet one American who told me when I went to the polls last year, I did so with the expressed intent of having my country make an absolute fool of itself on the international stage by completely blowing up the withdrawal from Afghanistan. I have yet to reach an American that says, you know, when I went to the polls last year, it was only one thing I was hoping for, that crime would increase to record levels all across the country. I have yet to meet an American that will tell you, <laughs> I knew old Joe would come through for me. I knew that the Biden-Harris administration would take an extra $300 a month out of my pocket. I have yet to meet an American, y'all, that said, when I went to the polls to vote in the last presidential election, I wanted the government to force me to spend $60,000 that I don't have to buy an electric car that I don't need. And later on, after I start paying the note, then they're going to tell me, um, we have to tax you for every single mile you drive that car. Well, wait a minute. I listened to y'all. You said to buy an electric car to save the planet. So that's what I did. Of course, now, these are the same people that also told you if Donald Trump had anything to do with the vaccine, I wouldn't trust it and I wouldn't take it. So you, being the loyal Democrat that you are, you took their advice. You don't trust it, and you ain't taking it. And what did they do after you took their advice? We already know. They called you all sorts of ugly names. You science denier, you. You flat earther. You selfish SOB that doesn't care about the health and safety or well-being of your fellow Americans. You heard it all. And if that weren't enough, then they want to take your rights, your liberties, and your freedoms as a result of it. And you still listening to these people? You still voting for these people? <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, as much as I love my country, as much as I love the ideals that it stands for, at some point, frustration sets in. And you start to say, huh, you get what you pay for. Or in this case, you get what you voted for. It ain't that hard to figure out, y'all. But you know if there's a silver lining here, and I shared this with you yesterday, Americans are waking up, particularly Americans who prior to this last 14 months considered themselves longtime Democrats and or liberals. New Ipsos poll out just this week, 27% of black folks say, you know what? <laughs> Next time they open the polls, I'm voting Republican. Hmm. We might be slow, but eventually we get there. We figure it out. That's why with all the ebbs and flows of the pendulum in political America, I still have faith in the American people. We might be slow, but eventually we get there. We figure it out. We see who's lying. We see who's not. And we take appropriate measures to correct it. Can't wait for the midterms. Can't wait. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, more justice for Juicy when we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. God 
termites. Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Driver assistance technology comes standard on every Camry model as part of Toyota Safety Sense, setting the standard for safety every time you're on the road, no matter the destination. Save on your Camry today at Team Toyota, I-12 at O'Neill. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. back to today's edition of the Clarence Spud Show. You ever have um, a Groundhog Day moment? The movie, not the actual Groundhog Day. Where you look at something, witness something, see something, and it's deja vu all over again. This morning, I awakened to find out that Jussie Smollett, a.k.a. Juicy Smollier, has been released from jail on bond, pending the appeal of his recent conviction. According to a report from the Associated Press, the AP, which I have always maintained stands for always propaganda. According to this AP report, the Court of Appeal in Illinois, three justice court, appellate court justices Thomas Hoffman and Joy Cunningham signed the order. The third justice, Maureen Connors, dissented. The article goes on to say that Jussie Smollett's attorneys argued that he should have the right to remain free until the appeals are exhausted because 
there's the possibility that as long as the appeal process can take, there's the possibility he may have served the entire sentence by the time the appeal has been heard. Well, boo-hoo-hoo. Your sorry behind wouldn't be in that situation if you, Mr. Preach to us about stop hate, stop hate, hate wrong, stop hate, stop hate, stop hate. When you made up a lie to perpetuate a hate crime against half of this country. You wouldn't be in this situation had it not been of your own making. The justices also apparently bought into the argument from Jussie's attorneys that the actor could, quote, be in danger of physical harm if he remains locked up in the Cook County Jail. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Anytime anybody goes to jail, there's the possibility, I could be wrong, but conventional wisdom and my gut tells me, if I'm in the company of, I don't know, rapists, robbers, muggers, murderers, and all sorts of other elements of the criminal world, there's the possibility that I might get hurt. But again, you are there, son. Sound like my late father. I could hit my dad now. You are in this situation, son, because you put yourself there. Now, Jesse, the mainstream media, and Democrats can't wait to tell you, well, they only did it because he's black. <laughs> Let me show you how stupid these people are. This all came dead smack in the middle of the biggest push to make y'all believe that racism was running rampant in America. Every way you look, ooh, look behind that bush, racism. Ooh, look behind that tree, racism. Ooh, look under your desk, racism. Ooh, look around the corner, racism. It was so much <laughs> that he couldn't find a white supremacist he went and hired two Africans blacker than me. Now you figure it out. Apparently, white supremacists were so busy, they were so booked with appointments to do racist stuff that they couldn't find time to squeeze Jesse into their busy schedule. So since he couldn't find any real white supremacist, do the next best thing, hire a couple of Africans. Really, y'all? <coughs> now, <laughs> again, show you how stupid these people are. These are the same people that will preach to you incessantly about white privilege. And this is the black guy who gets out till his appeal is heard. Funny how that white privilege stuff works in there. Huh. Didn't think about it that way, did you? These are the same people, y'all, that preached to us every freaking day. The same people who can smell racism in the air. The same people who 
will also tell you <laughs> my body, my choice. Remember that one? I guess that only applies to if you're killing babies. See, those on the left will tell you. Well, a, a woman has, they even came up with a phrase for it, bodily autonomy. That's what they do. They come up with a catchy slogan, a catchy phrase to get you to swallow it easier. What, what, Sound of Music or Mary Poppins? Spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Thank you kindly. Mary Poppins. Put enough sugar in it, you'll swallow you know what. And be sitting there licking your lips. Oh, that was good. That's how they play you. Same people will tell you bodily autonomy. A woman has the ultimate say-so over her body. But if I want the same bodily autonomy when it comes to the government sticking something in my body that I don't want, COVID shot. Oh, well, you are American. You see how they play you? These are the same folk, y'all, on the left. Now, on TV, it's your right, because everything you see is the exact opposite. How many times I'm going to have to tell y'all that? Clarence just said, people on the left, and he pointing to the right. It's in reverse, y'all. It's in reverse. This is how they play you. And sadly, a lot of y'all ain't figured it out yet. You know, I hear, <laughs> and I've gotten used to it. it. It lets me know that I'm on the right track. But as long as I've been doing this, I hear from people all the time, Clash, you show hard on black people. I have to be. You know why? Number one, because I love you too much to lie to you. And quite frankly, I am sick as a dog watching my people get used and abused and taken advantage of by people who lie to you. I'm sick of it. And my late father, God bless him, when I look in the mirror, I'm not going to have my father staring back at me saying, son, you saw these things. You knew these things. You had a platform to share these things, and you kept your mouth shut? I'm not having that, y'all. I'm not having it. And at the end of the day, if I didn't love you, I'd be a freaking Democrat. I'd go along. Do you know how much money I could make pushing race? Do you know what I could do as a Democrat? But not only do I respect myself, I respect you. And I particularly respect black folks that have been subjected to this sort of propaganda all their lives. I respect you too much to sit here and remain silent. That ain't happening, y'all. Not on my watch. It ain't going to happen. So the next time <laughs> you stumble across this show, you might, if you ain't ready, you might want to keep the remote handy. Because I'm going to tell you what you need to be told. Pure and simple. I will never, ever tell you what to think. But you can bet your bottom dollar I'll make you think. Now, whatever decision you come to after thinking. It is what it is. I don't have a problem with it. If you choose to remain ignorant, well, that's on you. I've done my part. But at the end of the day, y'all, I love myself. I love my country. I love the good Lord above, and I love you too much to sit silent and watch it happen. Now, don't get mad with me because you don't have the guts to stand up and tell the truth. If you got a problem with what you hear me say on this show, your problem is not with me. Your problem is with the truth. 
And that, my friends, is a different show for a different day. Final break. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, here and only here on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready and health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is 35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live healthcare consultant. Don't wait, get the coverage you need now. segment of today's edition of the Clarence Buck Show. You know, um, as an American of color, watching what my country is currently going through is particularly painful. I have mentioned on more than one occasion that the policies put in place by the current administration, the Biden-Harris administration, have hurt people the most who can least afford it. It just so happens that this group of people, those who can least afford the ravages of inflation, happen to be the most loyal segment of the Democrat Party, my people, black folks. So when I watch these things happen, understanding, mind you, that this is the same party that will tell anybody who will listen at any time how much they care about us, how much they feel our pain, how much we're going to fight like the devil to give you some relief. Now, lip service, like a certain unnamed part of the anatomy, it's just like an opinion. Everybody's got one. And some say they all stink, but that's a different, that's a different show for a different day. Watching 
all of this. You keep waiting for the government to finally come up with something that makes you say, okay, they do get it. They do understand. They do feel my pain. They do have a plan. <laughs> Still waiting? Thought so. So recently, our government, the one who has implemented policies crushing the middle class, the same administration that has implemented, implemented policies that are strangling the black community. They recently signed the omnibus spending bill. One point, however many trillion dollars. 2,700 page document. Now, I don't know what the average reading comprehension is of the average person watching right now, but I gotta think 2,700 pages, it's gonna take you a little while to read that. And since you are making a decision, Congress, that will affect so many people in this country, certainly, you're going to take the time to read all of it, to be sure that the American public, who's paying for this, by the way, is getting their money's worth. We now find out, after Congress passed the omnibus bill, that with inflation in double digits for the first time in the history of this country, with gas prices at an all-time high, with Americans' earnings being crushed by grocery prices and gas prices, what do we now find out was included in this 2,700-page omnibus bill, <laughs> a 21% increase in the budgets of, wait for it, Congress. That's a hell of a job if you can get it. Let's see, inflation, first time ever in double digits, Gas prices, the highest in history. I'm getting crushed in my wallet, but by God, I can vote myself a pay raise 21%. Woo-hoo! That's a hell of a job if you can get one. But these people care about you. Now, let me say for the record, y'all, in the grand scheme of things, when you're talking about the federal government, 134 million 400 thousand dollars is not a lot of money. I mean, when you're talking, what what are we now in debt, Marty? Close to 30 trillion. Yeah. yeah. When 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 you're talking 30 trillion dollars in debt, 134 million, along with 400 thousand dollars is not a whole lot of money but if you had anywhere near decent parents growing up remember what they used to say to us son it's the principle of the thing remember that you heard I'm sure at some point in your life growing up you heard the saying, lead by example. 
So if you combine the two, lead by example. And remember, it's the principle of the thing. While Americans are dealing with record inflation, record high gas prices, rent just gone stone freaking crazy, the last thing on the planet you would do is to vote yourself a 21% increase. And of course, leave it to them to add insult to injury. Not only are we going to increase our budget 21%, we're going to do it using your money. Y'all do realize by now, right, the federal government has no money. The only money the federal government has is the money that they reach into the pockets of working people to extract. They don't make a single product that you can put on a shelf, sell it, make a profit, like, I don't know, some crazy concept, like a business. They don't have a single thing. The only thing they have is the money they take from you. So their policies now are crushing your bank account. And their solution is to take some more of your money and give it to themselves. Huh. Is that what you voted for? This is the largest increase in the congressional budget since it was allowed to be increased back in 1996. 26 years, y'all. And of all the freaking time to do it while Americans are being slammed, I can only hope, those of you with the attention span of a gnat, I can only hope you remember this the next time you vote. That being said, my time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But this day, <laughs> on the heels of this 21% increase, I give it to you, maybe more so than any other. You're right, America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. You know the good Lord loves you, and you know I do too. And there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Love you much. God bless. Yeah.